Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while since I've actually posted anything on this channel, but yeah. Um, so today I'm going to be opening up the mini snack crate from Snack Crate. And yeah, we'll just uh, see what we get. Um, I don't know, this is my first time using Snack Crate, so it is a different subscription box. Um, as you guys have, I don't know, a couple of years ago I've done a, um, the Tokyo Treat subscription box, but um, my experience with them wasn't the greatest, so um, yeah, I actually ended up, um, what ended up happening was my box for November and December um, never arrived, and um, yeah, I, I ended up having to go through like almost two to three weeks worth of like just messaging back and forth with the um, support team to eventually get a refund, and it took quite, quite a long time that to happen so anyways um, let's just get this open um, yeah um, with snack crate it's like any other subscription boxes um, except this one um, they make you do sort of like a little quiz beforehand so just to determine what um, uh, country you'll be getting in your box first I guess I don't know but from the other videos I watched for the November 2020 um, that crate it seems like everyone got the same country anyway so i don't know why they bothered doing that theme thing when they're discussing everyone in the same country mark anyways so what's that crate um is this a, uh, a treat subscription box with um a different country snacks and treats every month so yeah let's just crack this open and see what we get okay <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I see it on here is uh, this little uh, note. I'll just leave it here for you guys to uh, pause and read if you want. <coughs> so apparently, um, it's just basically saying like the different formatting for expiry dates on the packaging and whatnot. So yeah, uh, we'll just put this off to the side. And then I think um, if you want any more of the snacks that you really like from the box, you can go onto the website, which is on the back here. You could order more. So, um, oh, that's awesome. So this month's theme is, well, this, this, uh, yeah, is Japan. That's great. So then it just has a little fact sheet, um, inside of it. Pretty cool. I actually like suspicion boxes that include fact sheets. So, um, yeah. Let's view one of the facts, actually. Okay, so, one of the facts is Japan is the last country in the world to have an active emperor. The role is mostly symbolic these days, however, there's still a big part of Japanese tradition. Pretty cool. And then on the back, it says, Nakai Ikidakimasu. And we also have um, the cheat sheet basically tells you what um, comes in the box uh, so I did get the mini box um, yeah so I did get the mini box but then I also um, they also asked me if I wanted to put a drink in it so um, I did also get the drink that normally comes in the original box but basically I only get I think I only get the like the six snacks you see on the front here plus the drink so yeah, oh and I think they also include a recipe on Hazmi Doyaki, so that's pretty cool as well. Anyways, let's just pack into the thing. So, the box looks like this, with the little pamphlet on it. I won't actually be eating these on um, on screen, um, just because um, it's a lot of snacks to go through, and I don't like... I'm the type of person who will eat one, who will eat one snack at a time, so I don't like opening a whole bunch of snacks. I'm eating it. Yeah, let's just see what we have in here. Ooh, what is this? So the first snack out of the box is this. And this is um Kokea Don Tacos. So it's a Japanese spin on a Mexican cuisine. These crunchy corn tortillas chips have a new tangy and savory um flavor. Boasting hints of fresh salsa. Cool. So these are sort of like from what I can tell they look like Doritos. You guys can see they look like mini Doritos and it's taco flavor. Cool. Awesome. Alright. 
Next out of the box, we have, ooh, what's this? Sour Ramune. So this is the Kamikame Sours. Uh, inspired by delicious Japanese ramen soda, this hard but chewy gummy candy has a delightfully punchy sour that's followed by a sweet fizziness. Hmm, I'm, I think I might like this. And oh, that's so cute! They're shaped like little turtles. That's why they call it Kame Kame Sours. Because Kame in uh, Japanese, I think, is turtle. I'm not 100% sure. My Japanese isn't the greatest. I haven't um, taken Japan Japanese in a while and I haven't really touched on the subject either. So, yeah, awesome! Oh, and I think I see our drink for the month. So, our drink is the coca-cola frozen lemon lemon so this is um a refreshing and delicious um drink this frozen soda pouch is filled with a sweet coke taste you crave with a hint of fresh lemon so i've seen these um in japan but basically you take this pouch and you put it into the freezer leave it in there for for a, for a little while and then when you take it out it's almost like a slushy texture so it's basically a slushy pouch that's pretty cool I actually might um, try this on camera later, but that's pretty awesome. We got the Coca Cola Frozen. First time I've seen this, actually. So that's really cool. And then, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, I see some mini Kit Kats. So there's two flavors. I'm thinking one is matcha, so I'm thinking this is like a really, really deep matcha because it's really, really dark green and this one is pink um let me see if i could read labels no it doesn't it doesn't s oh actually no it does say i think this might be sakura flavor because of like how light pink it is i'm not too sure but these are two of the popular flavors um Let's see what they say. Mini Kit Kat. Unlike the US counterpart, Kit Kats in Japan are offered in over 300 unique flavors. We've included a sampling of your favorite, if, of our favorites. So that's pretty cool. All right. And let's see. Ooh, I see Haichu. I love Haichu. So this is the grape flavor Haichu. I personally, I never had the grape flavor. I've, I, I've tried all the other flavors, but this is the Haichu grape flavor and it is known for having the perfect balance of fruitiness, juiciness, and creaminess. This popular item quickly became the best selling candy in Japan and I have to agree it does um, sell out quite a bit and like in Japan you have so many different flavors and yeah okay and then what else do we have in here oh my goodness I see a lot of Yumaibos I actually love Yumaibo um, so this is great. Uh, there's, let's see, one, two, three, oh my gosh, four. Oh, they gave us six flavors in the new Bible. So I have like, sort of like a variety pack to go off of. Um, the thing is, I don't know um, what flavors these are, so this is nice. I like, I, <clears throat> so when you Bible they're like essentially like a really big puffy um, Cheeto, in, in my in my opinion. Anyways, so let's see what the what the description is. For you Bible this delicious snack is a popcorn snack with the perfect amount of crunch. You have many flavors, you include a few box favorites for you to try. It's kind of sad though because I can't really tell what any of these flavors are. I wish I wish I knew. I wish I knew what flavors these are because that would be really nice to know. But um each marble um packaging has a different design on it. So obviously for the different flavors, but I find them really cute. I like the character the U Marble character so much. He kind of resembles um uh Doraemon, if you guys know Doraemon. But yeah. I think this one might be spicy because it looks like um the uh the characters are wearing boxing gloves. So I think this one might be a spicy one, I'm not too sure. But yeah, um... Oh no, it's uh... It's actually three different flavors, but just two of each uh, flavor. Which is good. And then the last thing in the box is... Oh, it... This is um... This is the DIY apple candy. I don't like how they stuck the nutrition facts right on the front. And I wish they did it on the back. 
Um, so this is sort of like a regulation that they have to do with the U.S. and stuff. Um, if you're shipping any candies and stuff uh, internationally, you have to put the nutrition facts in English by law on the packaging. I just don't like that they put it right in front. <clears throat> okay, so let's read the description for that. Let's make it apple can. This interactive treat has everything you need to create for your own gummy version of the ever popular candied apple. Hmm. Again, I might do a separate video for this as well. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up um, the snack crate Japan for the month of November. And if you guys are wondering why it's like I'm doing this and posting this in the middle of December, it's because I just got this yesterday. So what happens with um, snack crate is that um, for the actual month itself, so for November, if you were to subscribe, the treats actually get mailed out at the end of each month, so you don't get into the, the first or second week of the next month. So my December 2020 crate won't be coming until January 2021. Anyways guys, um, so yeah, this is, um, I'll show you guys the cheat sheet again. So this is what you get with the mini box, and then this is, uh, and and uh, and then for the original you get all of this plus everything on the back for the original box. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done any of these videos. Um, hopefully, uh, this subscription box. Um, I like this one, and we, we can keep doing more videos of these for the, for this channel. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Bye.